Double Cat News TV is the island's newest source of news and information, and it's all in glorious high definition. Put yourself in the picture and expose your business to thousands of English-speaking viewers on the island. It's easy and probably more affordable than you think. Contact sales at classicmedia.co.th or call 076 612 550. Phuket News TV, putting you in the picture. Sweaty cup. The Phuket News is out on the newsstands of Phuket every Friday. We speak to the managing editor Simon Ostheimer each week and you can get a sneak preview of what's in this week's Phuket News. Um, if you want to head down to the beaches and swim during June, yeah. you're on your own. Could be. Um, breaking story, uh, basically, that um, there's a lifeguard association and they're contracted to cover all the beaches on the west coast uh, and they save up to 80 lives a, a month, so doing an incredible service. Yeah. Um, but the renewal of their contract has somehow been missed and so from May 27th there could be zero cover on the beaches. So basically, as we said on the front, if you're swimming, you could be on your own. Well, that interview is now on the PhuketNews.com website by clicking the TV banner or like us on the Facebook page and you can see all the Phuket News TV programs as they're posted. I'm Tim Newton. This is News Today. A Russian man said to be threatening people in the Katakron area was arrested in his speedos on Thursday. Witnesses claim the man has been intimidating Thais and tourists in the area for days by not paying for food, being drunk and troublesome, and threatening restaurant guests. It's also said he vandalised a super cheap store in Carter and then attacked a senior policeman and three super cheap staff when he was being questioned at Caron Police Station. It's reported the man's been sent to hospital for psychiatric evaluation. Four monks from a temple in Phuket town have been defrocked after being caught by police with illicit drugs. Police raided the Watt after a tip-off from local people. The four monks and one other man were found in possession of marijuana and crystal methamphetamine. After they were arrested by the police, they were formally kicked out of the monkhood by the abbot of the Watt. And police netted a group of drug dealers after they caught a Swedish man and a Phuket ladyboy smoking methamphetamine in a hotel room in Caron. Instead of being jailed, they were sent to rehab after they'd given the police the name and the phone number of their dealer. The police then phoned the dealer to arrange a meeting at a Caron resort and arrested the dealer when he tried to sell illicit drugs to undercover officers. Then that dealer dobbed in his supplier by phoning him to bring more drugs to the resort, where the police were waiting to arrest him as well. And if you're a cigarette smoker looking for a quick puff while you're waiting for a plane at Phuket Airport, you'll be stepping outside in the future. The smoking room in the domestic departure lounge at the airport is being closed at the end of the month, although international passengers will still have a smoking area. Smoking in all domestic airport lounges in Thailand is being banned under a new no smoking policy by the Ministry of Health. And the smoking room at Phuket is being redeveloped as a part of the airport expansion. We've been running a poll at the PhuketNews.com website about this issue, asked should smoking be completely banned at Phuket Airport. So far, 46% have said yes, stub it out, it's a filthy habit. Whilst another 42% have said no, smoking rooms should be provided. 12% of you have said I don't care, just don't blow it in my face. You can join in the poll by logging on to the PhuketNews.com and scroll down to the right hand side of the website. And finally, the Mystic Mirage fundraiser party at Bliss Beach Club last week raised an astonishing three quarters of a million baht to help Thai children on the island learn English. The Arabian Nights themed party organised by the Phuket Has Been Good To Us charity featured a whirling dervish, henna tattoo painting, a cave of wonders photo booth and of course belly dancers. The money raised from the night goes to the charity's English language program for more than 900 children at two Thai government schools. That's all we have for news today. Thanks for joining us. Watch us where you want, when you want. Your smartphone, tablet, laptop, anywhere, anytime. Keep informed and up to date. Phuket's News TV.